Alright everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Uh, if some things look different, it's because I very stupidly, instead of loading my state when I first load the game, I saved a clean state right over top of all the progress. So, I had to redo everything. So, I'm back. Anyways, and I think this is where we left off, so we're gonna go ahead and head back over to level 2 and get that started. <clears throat> I also actually already recorded this, but I went through the recording after I did it, and I had no game sound, for whatever reason. But let me full screen so you guys can get, so you can get rid of my cursor. This amateur hour over here. So we'll just run over to level two. It's pretty close by. Not this way. I think we'll probably do level 2 and level 3, and depending on time, might do some other stuff as well. Money, get a key. Uh, this level's really cool, only because it's like, super, you can skip a lot. Adjusted for like a full week now. I don't know if it's just my allergies. I don't remember if last time I bought the potion or I didn't, but I really have it. The red potion. So 
that would be nice to have. For whatever we needed. We're probably not going to be in any real danger of dying for a while. Fingers crossed. I would hope not. Like the most classical, classic piece of music in gaming. You'll just hear it loop. It's the only overruled song. You'll just hear it loop. The infinity. And we make our way to level three. Left over. The cool thing about the, this Zelda game is that the keys are transferable to the dungeon. So you don't have to use all the keys if you know where everything is and you can use some secrets. Like bombing walls to skip some locked doors. You can save the keys. Some are just extra bonuses. But the item in this dungeon you really need, so you have to go get it. Like the item last dungeon was this magic boomerang, the blue boomerang, and you really don't need it. I don't think you need the boomerang at all in this game. It's just something that makes it a little easier. That is the raft, and that's going to allow us to travel across water. Um, I'll show you later. We've already passed by some places that we can use it, but it's not super obvious. That's Probably have enough time to go ahead and do level four. Uh, if I don't walk back into level three. <sighs> we'll make our way a little stroll. Level four. Is I think to get the last sword upgrade, we need 12 full hearts, so we're not going to be able to do that for just a little bit. We've got 9 up there, so we need 3 more. And that was using our raft to get across the water, and we'll head straight into level 4. Now, level 4 is where I really start to lose map knowledge.
if I can get through this. It shouldn't be too hard. And those guys, I, I forget what they're called, but they split up into these geese if you hit them with a sword, but if you kill them with an arrow, I believe they don't split up, so. This dungeon introduces dark rooms. Uh, these dark rooms you need to use a candle to light up, and then you can see it again. I'll try and show kill these guys with arrows. Uh, there is a way to kill these guys without making them separate. There's still a Oh, the enemies in the neighborhood push this block. Make the door open. 
<coughs> so this is like the first actually kind of challenging boss in the game. Especially with all the upgrades, but you can sort of even, you know, with all the upgrades you can still just stay here and wail at him. And it's pretty easy. We'll get our last... Well, I say last. Our fourth piece of the Triforce. So we're actually halfway done with the Triforce. Uh, so we did levels 2, 3, and 4 today. And I think that's going to wrap it up. And we'll see about what we can do in the next episode. Yeah. Wrap it up for now. I'll see y'all next time.